everyone welcome you all to my channel study with amartya so uh, today i'm going to launch a new series which will deals with the tcs ipa examination preparation and all uh, in this series i'm going to solve all those previously asked tcs ipa questions so let's see i'm going to solve around 10 to 20 questions which i selected from the pyqs but if you want me to specifically solve any question kindly comment down in the comment section i will surely make a video or explanatory video regarding the same and also do mention in your doubts and suggestions in the comment section and if you want to see more such information related to tcs ipa or coding preparation in tamil and english or as well as upsc related things kindly do subscribe to my channel so let's move to the video so let's look at the first problem it is a very simple problem so in this method they they are asking us to create a class but i'm not going to use the class method because it is something time consuming and a bit more complex but we can solve it in a much simpler way also which is very easy and uh, it is it, it is useful to save a lot of time during the examination so i'm going to use the list method in this list method instead of class we can use the list so let's look into the problem first straightly we can go to the sample input and output case here you can see five inputs so above the input itself they they are given the explanation so the first three lines represent the account number the account holder name and the available balance that is the third line and then the fourth line is the amount to be deposited to the account the particular account so the balance will in increase right and then the fifth line is the amount to be withdrawn so we have to subtract, uh, subtract the amount so the balance will reduce now let's see the uh, question with action question so they are saying that uh, we have to create a method called deposit amount so there is no need of creating a method and all we can solve it in a very simple way so we have to deposit the amount which means we have to add the amount to the initial amount so the balance will improve and then we have to update the balance and then we have to return the updated balance we have to print it as an output we have to print the updated balance as an output and then we have to withdraw the amount so we have to withdraw the amount and if the balance is uh, greater than 1000 we have to print the amount else if the balance is lesser than 1000 we have to print this statement no adequate balance so that is the sample output case too so for the given case you can see uh, the balance is 1500 we are adding or depositing 1200 so the balance will be 2700 which is the updated balance and then we are deducing the 2000 from the 2700 so the balance remains lesser than 1000 so we should display no adequate balance so this is the sample case hope it is clear or let me explain you briefly so totally there are five input cases one is the account number account holder name and the balance okay imagine the balance is 1500 and then we have to deposit a certain amount to the account imagine we have to deposit 2000 which is the fourth input so after depositing we will get 3500 right now the fifth input is we have to withdraw the amount imagine it is 1000 so we have to withdraw sub subtracting the thousand we will get 2500 so we have to check whether after withdrawing the amount is greater than thousand or not if the amount is greater than thousand then we can print the amount like after withdrawing it will be 2500 else if it is lesser than thousand then we have to print like no adequate balance so that is the exact problem statement now let's write the code for this So let's go to the online GDP. So the first line is about uh, describing the number of inputs. Oh, sorry, here there is no need to get the number of input. First, we are getting uh, the account number. So that is an integer. As you can, I am simply naming it as else uh, n. Uh, you can name it clearly also account number. And then the account holder name. which is an input, uh, string input. So only uh, we, have, we should mention it input. And then uh, the balance, we can write as balance. Uh, 
okay and then we should uh, deposited amount the same thing and then we should get the withdrawing amount okay so now uh, we are getting all the input now we should add the deposited amount to the balance so we can name it as updated amount updated amount is equal to balance plus deposited one now we can print it updated one and then what we should do is uh, we should deduce the amount the withdrawing amount from the updated one so we can create a one called a deduced one in that uh, we should minus the updated minus the withdrawing amount so if the deduced is greater than 1000 then we can easily greater than or equal to 1000 we can print the amount if it is lesser than 1000 okay we should print like no adequate balance else we can print the exact amount the deduced so let's copy the input cases which they have given let's check our code with this input case let's run the program yeah here you can see okay i have given 100 so it's 1000 now let's check yeah we are getting the exact output which is required by the uh, tcfs so this is how we should do the first program uh, similarly i will solve so many program in the upcoming uh, series and all so do subscribe to my channel and comment down your views or suggestions or the program which you want me to solve and explain so see you on the next video bye bye